Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I wanted to go through how should I power my new CPU mining rigs. I bought 15 different CPU mining rigs, as you guys can see here. All motherboard CPU RAM setups, okay? Various 5950Xs, 3900Xs, and a few other CPUs here. But in total, we have 15 CPU rigs, and I already have about three or four running already including this 3900X, which we just set up in a live stream. That was a lot of fun. Right now it is mining two nice hash. We're using about 146 watts currently for this whole setup, utilizing an RM850X 850 watt Corsair power supply. So I wanted to gauge the community here. I am not a heavy CPU miner. I've never done this you know, at a mass scale. So the biggest thing I want to accomplish in this video is to go through the different power supply configurations that I could use for my CPU mining rigs. And this is where I wanna gauge you guys in the comments, how should I power all of these mining rigs? This is the biggest thing I wanna figure out. I wanna go through, you know, whether or not I wanna use ATX PSUs, you know, HP server PSUs, you know, breakout boards, Pico power supplies, you know, a bunch of different methods, various ways. I wanna go on the computer and uh, talk with you guys, even regarding the prices of all that stuff. I wanna find a cost-effective way, you know, a reliable way as well, you know, to power these. And I guess it's gonna go along with, you know, how am I gonna mount these CPU mining rigs as well, okay? So let's talk about it in the computer. And before we do that, thank you for today's video sponsor. You know quantum computers. You know blockchain, but do you know both together? Dynex was the first platform to create a neuromorphic supercomputing blockchain-based algorithm which solves real-world problems. And the best part? Anyone can post a job, whether a company from the Global 2000, a machine learning job, or fintech and pharmaceutical. And if you don't want to program it yourself, Get an expert directly at the marketplace. Run the job and be impressed by the fast result. All right, guys, so I just made just a quick mock-up of six different configurations that I could make for my CPU mining rigs. Now, a few of these configurations, I have a few of the PSUs already, but uh, I have different costs here. I also have, you know, you can see all the different power supplies that I need, uh, could need, and also the breakout boards, Pico's power supplies, you know, cables, all that kind of stuff. Factored that all in so you guys can see, you know, generally how much it could cost. And I got all the prices from like, you know, Parallel Miner, Amazon, if I'm using these types of adapters and, you know, Pico power supplies from eBay, which thank you to Shides for this link here. Okay, so we did a live stream already talking about you know, what type of power supplies I could use. And the biggest one that came up was the Pico power supplies, the ATX PSU adapters. I'm gonna call these like adapters. I don't think they're called adapters. People call these like power supplies, but uh, you can see here, they just go on to the 24 pin of the motherboard, right? And this is what provides also the eight pin CPU power, okay? And then this part here, the six pin bus, all right? the DC input interface. This is what connects to a six pin PCIe power. Okay, either to a breakout board or an ATX uh, PSU. And there's also a SATA here for, you know, if you had SATA uh, SSD power, and that's basically all you need for a typical CPU mining rig to power the motherboard and the CPU. Okay, all from this single like adapter PSU. So I wanted to go through here 
okay? Six different configurations. So the, the first one I want to talk about here is on Parallel Miner, there are these 1400 watt Dell PSUs. Okay, let's go to Parallel Miner here. Not sponsored, not affiliated. Now, if we go to their shop and power and accessories, you go to server power supplies, you can see here, these $15 Dell 1400 watt platinum, 94% efficiency PSUs. This is incredibly cheap. I am not sure how the reliability is with these. I'm sure they're really good because they're Dell and they're server PSUs. And uh, with the platinum efficiency, that's, that's pretty good. But for $15, along with the, uh, you're going to need the, uh, for, for my configurations I chose was the X11 uh, 16 port uh, breakout board. Okay. That would work with that Dell 1400 watt. Okay. So with all that together, along with the Pico power supplies, these guys from eBay. Okay. If I order 16, it'd be about $16 and 56 cents each. Then along with the uh, 16 of the 12 inch 16 gauge PCIe cables. Okay. That's for this one here. Okay. I'm going to need uh, from the breakout board to the Pico adapters. Okay. This is just a power uh, just that part for the Pico adapter, this part right here. Okay. So that's what I would need. So that this configuration here altogether, which I don't personally have anything on hand for this, this would cost me altogether about $417 and six cents, uh, USD. Okay. Um, it's not including the parallel minor shipping and I'm assuming eBay has some shipping costs as well to me, but just at base cost here, 141706. Okay. So that's configuration number one. Now, configuration number two is for 1200 watt HP server PSUs, uh, four X11 boards, 16 Pico PSUs, and the 12 uh, 16 gauge cables. Okay. And altogether, this would be $373.96. Okay. For these 1200 watt HP server PSUs, I already have them on hand. Okay. So I wouldn't need to buy these, but if I did, it would cost $729 and 96 cents. And you guys may be asking, there's a huge difference in cost there. And yes, there is because on parallel minor, that 1200 watt PSU is not cheap. It's about $89. This <laughs> is, this is quite expensive. It's $89 on their website right now. Okay. So yeah, that's why I, you know, I factored in all these, uh, you know, the cost of buying it all. And then I did note down here, the 4X 1200 Watts, I actually already have on hand. So for me, I would need, I only need to buy these three things and not the 1200 Watts. So that's configuration number two. All right. Uh, with along with the 16 CPUs, I'm talking about the wattage draw roughly, and you guys can give me your input after, but going on configuration number three is eight. 750 watt HP server PSUs and eight X11 breakout boards. Okay. And then 16 Pico PSUs and 16 cables. So this is going to cost, I don't have any on hand. This would be $563 and 40 cents. So the eight 750 watt PSUs right now on parallel minor go for about $19. Okay. So with all that, I would then do about, I think two CP rigs per 750 watt. Okay. I forgot to mention for these two, these like four 1200 watts or four 1400 watts, it would be about four CPU rigs on each. Okay. Just to give that disclaimer there. So hopefully that would hit in the range of 50 to 70% load, which I think the power supply efficiency for, you know, HP server PSUs are going to be in the middle somewhere. So looking at this uh, chart here, you know, the 750 watt PSUs efficiency is around between I think 250 to I think 600, uh, 500 in the middle range there, middle of the uh, usage of the PSU. And then the 1200 watt, the peak efficiency is around, I think around 750 to a thousand uh, load on the power supply. So that's why I have four here. Okay. And then, or eight, if I did the 750 watts. So you guys let me know what you think about configuration number three. All right. Now configuration number four, five, and six is going to be ATX power supplies, which I have all on hand. Okay. I forgot to mention this, which I should add in here. I have four on hand already four of the, uh, 1200 Watts, but anyways, configuration number four. Okay. Eight, 850 watt ATX PSUs. All right. And then 16 Pico 300 watt PSUs. Okay. You guys may be thinking, how is that connected? Well, yeah, the ATX PSUs already have PCIe uh, cables, right? So that will go into the eight, uh, six pin 
uh, input here already to power the motherboard and the 8-pin CPU, okay, by the 6-pin uh, PCIe coming from the ATX PSU. So that would be enough. I already have a bunch of, you know, ATX PSUs because of my mining rigs, my open air mining frames, which have ATX PSUs on them already. I, yeah, I already counted. I think I have more than eight there. So that I wouldn't need to buy anything except for the 16 Pico PSUs, which if I bought 16 of them, it would be about, yeah, $264. Okay. And 96 cents for all 16 of those. So I, that's the money I would spend. If I had to buy all the 850 watt PSUs, it would be well over $1,100 because ATX PSUs on Amazon, I was just judging by uh, Amazon pricing for like a Corsair 850 watt, be about 100 to $110. Okay. And you guys may be asking, well, how do you, you know, power each of the, you know, motherboards? And, you know, I could do the dual eight pin CPU for the motherboard times two, you know, that's what I thought I could do with using, okay, it's gonna, this is going to go in the config section. You know what? I realized this is actually not going to work for this because the Pico PSU already has the eight pin for the CPU. So that I would not need to put there, but uh, let me put that there and there you go. Okay. So now config number five, I screwed that up on config four. Config number five. Okay. Or I would do four CPU rigs on four 1200 watt ATX power supplies and then 16 picos okay so you guys let me know if you think that's a good one as well i already have four 1200 watt psus on hand so i only need to uh, spend about 264 dollars and 96 cents now the last configuration this is going to be a little bit different okay so i have the 850 watt power supplies on hand then i would then be able to power the cpu uh the the motherboard eight pins with the dual uh there's two eight pin uh, CPU connectors per each 850 watt. So I would then be able to split each one into having two motherboards on one ATX PSU setup, if that makes sense. But I would also need a 24 pin splitter or Y splitter like this. Okay, this is simply to basically acknowledge, you know, the power on for both ATX uh, motherboards. Okay. And so the amount of money that I'd have to spend for this one, because these are only $20 for one. I would then have to spend about $160, all right? But if I bought the ATX PSUs plus the splitters, it would cost $1,032, okay? So um, let me know what you guys think of this configuration. Also, Veteran Miner, uh, the veteranminer.com said he, are, he, is, he is able to make the 24-pin uh, cables, cables like this, 24-pin splitters. So to split up the ATX PSUs. So that that could be something I, I could do as well, okay? And uh, yeah, I could give him some money to build those. And, you know, I, I really wouldn't have to spend that much. But you can see as uh, config number six would be probably the cheapest method. I wouldn't need to buy the Pico PSUs in terms of yeah, powering the, the uh, power supplies would be coming from the uh, ATX PSUs. And so like a failure point in a way would be the Pico PSUs, which, you know, I've never used before. I've heard about these things uh, in the past, but I, I've heard bad things about them in the past. But uh, recently, I, yeah, I, I've had a lot of people say that these are actually fine uh, for CPU mining, like the 300 watt. I know there's 160 watt versions, uh, different, you know, 250 watt versions, and, you know, there's bad quality Pico PSUs. But uh, Shides told me this one is pretty good. He's had no issues as the 8 pin CPU for power, all that kind of stuff. So I want to know what you guys think. What, what do you think? Which setup should I do here? Okay, should I do the ATX PSU method, 850 watts, or, you know, have four MOBOs on one 1200 watt, right, equals the 16 setups, or should I do the HP server PSU method, right? G give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, I think this is a, this is a pretty interesting, I don't know, just for anyone that, that's out there is also looking at how to power their, uh, you know, their CPU mining rigs. Oh, I, I guess config number seven could be, what if I just bought like all 450 watt I don't know, 450 watt PSUs, like just try to find really cheap, you know, 450 watt bronze rated PSUs. Well, what about that? You know, buy 16 of these, that would be about what, 50 times uh, 16 would be about eight. Oh, that would be 800 bucks. Ooh, uh, uh. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. But, you know, I guess maybe reliability wise, that could be really good or bad. I don't know. But I mean, reliability of these HP server PSUs, these are meant to be on you know, 24 seven for servers, right? But then a failure point is also then going to be these could be the parallel minor X11 breakout boards, or potentially the Pico 
power supplies, right? Or the adapters, right? The PCIe uh, cables. So this method, you know, you have a lot more failure points in a way, but I mean, really, you know, am I going to have an issue? Who knows? In a way, I'm also, you know, dense density and a density factor because I'm having the 1400 watt, 1200 watts. I can have three or four CPU motherboards on one you know, power supply. And then I guess for the ATX method, the cheap, it's the cheaper route because I already have these on hand. Um, is it more, the more reliable route? Maybe, probably, maybe config number six would be another reliable. Maybe this is all reliable. This is just, you know, it depends on how the quality of the PSUs are, how they're treated, you know, temperatures, environment all play the part so anyways a lot of variables here but uh i want to know what you guys think let me know in the comments which config would you go for config number one two three four five or six or seven another one if there's something i'm missing if there's another configuration i'm missing type it in the comments down below i'd love to read it but otherwise, whatever you guys say, whatever I read the most, I will probably do that method. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down below. All right, I appreciate you all. Let me know your thoughts of everything I talked about. I'll see you on the next video. Hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.